Hey everyone, what is going on? And welcome back to another showcase in the Love Cup. Now guys, this trainer does have a YouTube channel and I will leave a link in the description down below if you want to go ahead and follow them. But let's take a look at this super spicy team. Oh my gosh, we have Embor, we have Goliath, Slow King, and we have Hisui and Electrode. I guess Hisui and Electrode, probably the least spiciest of the three. We do see that Pokemon uh, occasionally and it is fun to use. But the other two you never see, you never see that. I think I vaguely remember seeing a Goliath Slow King, maybe when the original Love Cup was around, or maybe when this, you know, the second time it, it came out. But, you know, not this rotation. You, it's just a Pokemon you never see. But it's so cool, it's so cool. Let me know if you've battled any of these Pokemon outside of Electrode. You've probably seen Electrode. But either way, let's see how these battles play out. We do have that Aloma Mola coming in right now. This is going to be some decent neutral damage from Rock Slide. And now we're going to see a switch into Electrode. Now this Hisuian Electrode is a Grass type and an Electric type. So it is taking uh, resisted damage from the Waterfalls, which is good. Uh, but the opponent still has two shields. Able to get one there, very nice. Uh, and they do pull a switch into Soul Rock. This has to get the shield. I mean, the Electrode has to shield that. So they're probably going to charge up to two Wild Charges and throw them back to back. So we do have the two Wild Charges. Let's see if the opponent decides to shield or if they let this go through. This could be big damage. They do shield it. Another one coming out. This is going to do a tremendous amount of damage. And it does connect. And then the switch into uh, Embo. And Embo unfortunately goes down. And down goes Soul Rock. Out comes Aloma Mola. Come on, get to it. They get to an attack. But this Electrode does have a shield so they could shield the psychic and get to the wild charge before that waterfall connects and this wild charge is going to KO that waterfall wouldn't have KO'd anyway but the wild charge will KO that Aloma Mola so able to win absolutely incredible gate a great gameplay great gameplay really really enjoyed those battles but let's go or that battle that was only one game we have more games for you let's see how the next uh, battle plays out and bought into a Loma Mola. So this is terrible. You got to say swap into Goliath Slow King. So that's exactly what is going to happen. Still taking a lot of damage, but uh, we'll see. Um, so we're going to see a, a, sl a Sludge Wave. Yeah, Sludge Wave come in from the Slow King. That's going to get the shield. Um, so they're going to go ahead and go for the Psychic. Psychic definitely has got a KO, right? So the Slow King will shield that. Uh, and they switch into Ariados, going for the Shadow Ball, a heavy hitting Shadow Ball right now. Uh, so this is going to do a lot of damage, not enough to KO. Um, I'm just going to let this one go. This is going to be a lunge, uh, almost KOing. Uh, they, uh, they probably farm down. Oh no, they throw an attack before the Slow King gets to an attack. So that makes sense. They want to. They want to have to invest the shield. So down goes the Slow King. Out comes Embo. Embo will farm down. Not before another attack. We know how fast Ariados is, don't we? Ariados will get to this. Oh my gosh. We'll get to that Crush Poison. <laughs> wow. In comes Electrode. Uh, they have their own Hisuian Electrode, so awesome. That is really cool. That is really cool. Uh, unfortunately, these moves are resisted. Wild Charge and Energy Ball are both resisted. Um, that does a decent amount, but you know, it's still, uh, the opponent still has that Aloma Mola in the back. Uh, we're going to see an Energy Ball come out right now. And we're going to see an Energy Ball come in. I don't know if they're going to shield it, but even if they don't, this is not going to KO. Uh, they do not shield it. Defense fell which is not bad shield go for the farm down i don't even know if you can get to the, i don't even think you can get to the farm down actually maybe after the wild charge oh no they have another attack never mind they had another attack i didn't realize they had another one uh so this is going to connect and it doesn't ko but a little more will farm down electrode is just too low and even if i mean the opponent still has a shield anyway they do get to the wild charge but again the opponent still has a shield so the opponent can safely shield that and farm down that electrode that's gonna be a great game to both trainers though uh, very well played uh but let's go ahead and move into the next battle here we go Emboy into clefable um okay so Emboy is a fighting type so it's taking neutral damage which is not great but uh, at least it's neutral. They actually put a switch into a Loma Mola. Out comes Electro. This is a great matchup for the Hasui and Electrode, of course. Uh, both of these moves are super effective. They're going to be able to get off the Psychic. Let's see if the Electro shields. They do shield it. Uh, and now they're probably just going to charge up to max energy. Almost max, max energy. Going for the energy ball. Uh, this is not going to debuff them. They're going to undercharge it. That was a good undercharge. 
I think Electrode could farm down. That was a great undercharge because Electrode going to be able to farm down. It's a very nice undercharge there. A little bit concerning that we're going to get to an attack, but the opponent did not get to an attack with a Loma Mola. So Wild Charge going to get the shield. Another Wild Charge going to get the shield. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, so here we go. Wild Charge. It does get the shield. Switching into Ember. Going for the Flame Charge immediately. Uh, immediately. So very nice. This is going to connect. And they're going to be able to farm down. But you do have a Slow King. Uh, and a shield in comes the, yeah, this is, this should be a win. Oh, well, hold up, hold up. Uh, you have to shield this because foul play will KO. Uh, Shadow Ball might not KO. The Electrode might actually get this. Going to go for the Sludge Wave, actually. Uh, so Sludge Wave. Oh, come, oh my gosh. And they get to an attack. This is going to KO the Slow King. This is going to KO the Slow King. Um... And in comes the Suian Electro. The opponent is going to bring in their Clefable. They do barely get to the... Oh my gosh. Wow, what a heart stopper. I thought that was going to be... I thought, I thought that was going to be a win, I'll be honest with you. But that was a good game nonetheless. Well played to the opponent as well. Um, I thought that was going to be a win, but unfortunately not. But let's move on to the next one. Good game though. Uh, okay. Alright, uh, against Macargo, they do have Incinerate. They're actually going to switch out... Oh, a Water Gun Slow, bro. Out comes Slow King. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so Slow, bro is also a Psychic type, so it will take super effective damage from the Hex and Shadow Ball attacks. Um, so we're going to see a Shadow Ball right now. Of course, this is going to KO unless they shield it. Um, they, I don't think they'll shield. They do actually shield. Uh, so Slow King will be able to make another one, though. Which is huge, so this is going to KO, unless if they want to commit both shields on this slow bro, which they actually do. I guess they committed at this point. They can't water gun down, so do you let this go or do you fight for switch? Just going to let it go. Uh, keep the shield advantage. Water pulse will be enough to KO. And out comes Electrode, in comes Magmortar. Going to go ahead and go straight wild charge. Now keep in mind, this is a grass type, so this is weak to incinerate. Uh, or fire types in general. So we're going to switch out and go for the rock slide to ensure the knockout. Um, so this rock slide is coming out and it's going to connect for sure, obviously, because the opponent's out of shields. And in comes Slowbo. It would be nice to be able to farm down, but uh, you can't, can't barely even make the rock slide. So this rock slide will KO. Uh, but can the electrode beat whatever's in the back? I don't know. What is it? Oh my god, it's a Drudagon? I uh, these moves have resisted. This Dragon's gonna win, unfortunately. Yeah, no doubt no doubt about it. Oh, I mean it's still have a shield, but Wild Charge is not gonna KO. Wild Charge is not gonna KO. Uh, neither is energy ball. Two wild charges? Ah, oh, they can't make two. They can't make two. I think two wild charges probably KO the Dragon, but they can't make two. Yeah, it would, but Oh my gosh, they made it, but they fainted with the move. Oh man. Oh, I felt that. I felt that. But good game though. Uh, that's okay. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, by the way, these these battles are out of order, so I don't know if he necessarily got multiple losses in a row. I, I just know that they're out of order, so um, just pointing that out. So Embo into Metacham. Power of Punch? Yep, Power of Punch. Um, lag? Okay. Trying to desperately get to Flame Charge. Able to get to it. Very nice. So let's see if the Metacham decides to shield. Trainers might not be familiar with Embo's attacks, or they might think Blast Burn because it is a community day move. Uh, and that's probably the move you would assume. It's probably the move I would assume, to be honest. Um, in comes the Slow King. Slow King gonna hex down. I don't know. I don't know if he can hex down. I mean, Psychic will do a lot. Oh, it's gonna be Power Punch. That's really unfortunate. And they do switch out into their own Slowbro. Going to farm up, going for the Shadow Ball. So Slow King might uh, Slow Bro might shield. They do, but Slow King trying to get to one more and it's able to get to it, which is really nice. That's a confusion, Galarian Slow Bro as well. Uh, so we do see a uh, Shadow Ball. That's going to KO very nice. Uh, the opponent's out of the shields. They couldn't shield that anyway. In comes Electrode. Out comes the Suyan Electrode. Um, okay, this Energy Ball is going to do a lot of damage. I don't know if they charged up for Hyper Beam or not, so I don't know if this could be Hyper Beam. It's Discharge. That's good. That's like double resisted, so a little bit unfortunate there, but it could have been a foul play at the same time, right? So you had to shield that. Um, and able to get off a Wild Charge. Okay, this is going to KO the Cantonian uh, Electrode for sure, so there we go. And out comes that Metacham. One more. 
able to get to it, and that is going to be a good game. Very well played to both trainers there. This Sasuian Electrode is going to be able to win. Um, so yeah, well played. Well played, taking a victory there. Uh, but we still have more games. We have more than five battles for you. Let's go ahead and move on. So it's going to be Emboy into Wiggly Tough. Okay, again, it's a fighting type in addition to a fire type, so it's not resisting charm. But they do switch into Slow Bow. Out comes uh, Slow King. Okay, so Slow King able to go for this Shadow Ball attack. This Shadow Ball attack is going to... Well, it's going to KO if it connects. It doesn't connect. Um, and they're going to go for an attack as well. So what is this going to be? It's going to be a Psychic, makes sense, but we do see a shield from the Galarian Slow King. Uh, Slopo probably wins if, I mean, Slopo could shield this and farm down if they choose to, uh, right? Or they could let it go. They, they do let it go. Okay, so they don't want to give up the final shield. In comes Electrode. Electrode wants to farm down. Shadow Ball coming in from this Galarian Slow King. So it's going to have to shield, no doubt about it. Uh, unless if they want to take a lot of damage. And they don't. So <laughs> in comes a Hasui and Electrode. I love this matchup. Two Electrodes, different forms going at it. Uh, so we're going to take a foul play. Okay, going to be neutral. I mean, it doesn't do that much. Uh, Wigglytuff is coming in, so we're going to see this Wild Charge. Wild Charge, switch out Ember down, maybe. Uh, oh, can you Ember down? Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, I think you can. Uh, close. Ember is really squishy. Uh, it was close, but you were able to do it. Out comes the Flame Charge. Now, if the opponent had the Hisui inversion, this would be super effective, of course, but it's just neutral. But it still does a lot of damage. Uh, they do farm down, but this Electrode is coming in. You gotta shield it. Oh man, can the Electrode get to another attack? I don't know. No, they cannot. This Hisuian Electrode gets to Wild Charge. And this is going to be a win. So that is going to be a good game. Very well played. Hisui and Electrode decided that it wanted to be king uh, of the Electrodes, I guess, if you will. But good game. Well played. Let's go ahead and jump into the next battle. We have a few more battles. Uh, so it's going to be Emboy into Talonflame. Okay, so Talonflame going up against Talonflame. Of course, the Rock Slide is huge. But Brave Bird will KO the Emboy. So I, I don't know. It could go either way. They could bait. Could be the, the Brave Bird, it could KO, we'll see. Gonna call it, it's a Flame Charge, huge call, although that still did a lot, but uh, gonna go ahead and switch into this Galarian Slow King. So Galarian versus Galarian, very nice. Uh, so Psychic is gonna get the shield and going to over farm and go for the Shadow Ball. This Shadow Ball will be enough to KO, but we might see a shield. We probably will see a shield. They do shield. Uh, trying to get to another one. Not quite, not quite, not quite. That's okay. So Slowpo is going to go ahead and go for an attack, but we're going to see a shield on the Slow King. Oh, Hex down? I think they're going to Hex down. No, they're not. Okay, afraid that the opponent would get to another one. I think you could have maybe Hexed down, but I, I guess didn't want to risk it. I, I respect that. I totally get that. Uh, and the Slow King still has a lot of energy. Uh, enough to go for a Shadow Ball against this Talon Flame, so that is amazing. Uh, so gonna be doing a lot of damage, gonna be picking up the shield, that may have KO'd, I'm not sure. Gonna switch out and go for Rock Slide, this definitely KO's. Rock Slide 100% KO's, double super effective damage, you'll love to see it. What is in the back? It is gonna be a, a Hasuian Electrode, trying to get to a Flame Charge, able to get to it. So this M-Boy is actually just gonna be able to pick up the knockout, uh, and it's gonna be a great game, very well played. It looks like we're seeing some lag, I don't know if the opponent disconnected, sometimes when that happens, that's what that means. Either way, it doesn't matter, that is gonna be a great game to both trainers, very well played all around. Uh, we have two more battles in this video, and we'll see how the next game plays out. Oh, that was a great, great, great matchup. Okay, terrible, terrible matchup here. So we're gonna say swap into Slow King. The Aloma Mola is leaving into Crustal. Um, Okay, Shadow Ball will be doing a lot of damage, so they I feel like they have to shield this because they, they, they definitely want to win switch, right? They need to win switch. The opponent needs to win switch. Uh, so the Slow King will shield as well. We know it's going to be an X's, that would have KO'd. Uh, Shadow Ball is coming out. Yes, it is. So the opponent will likely shield and farm down. Definitely unfortunate. Not going to be able to win the mid game here, but... Um, oh no, it was actually at CMP, so at least, at least they threw the energy. Um, this is still not good, right? Because the Emboy is taking a lot of damage. Um, yeah, look how much damage it's taking. Gonna go ahead and go for the Rock Slide. You're gonna rely on Hasui and Electrode, huh? Yeah, I guess, I guess at this point you really have to. 
Uh, up a shield, though, so, I mean, we know it does well against that Aloma Mola. Talonflame! The Wild Charge. Will it be enough to K... Wild Charge probably one shot. I think this is going to be a win. I think Electro is just going to take this. Oh, that just KOs! Charging, charging, charging. Come on, charging up enough for two Wild Charges. This is a win. This is a win because, yeah, Talonflame incinerate super effective damage. But, you know, I mean... Wild Charge is also super effective. Actually, just going to go ahead and go for the Energy Ball. Doesn't really matter, of course, but what? Well, might as well just go for it. That is going to KO. That Electrode saving the game. Electrode, I don't consider Electrode Spice. I, I consider it meta or maybe a little bit behind meta in the Love Cup. In the Love Cup. The other two, though, super spicy. I love Hisui and Electrode. I, I really do. Uh, next up, Emboy into Lickitung. Okay, so this is the final game of the video. Don't forget to follow this trainer on YouTube. So, M Boy is going to take this body slam. That does a lot. M Boy, as we know, is really frail. The flame charge is coming out. This is going to likely connect. No, they actually decide to shield it. Uh, they want to lick down. No, they actually throw the body slam. At least they throw the energy. So, that's not too bad. Uh, I guess you have to bring in the Hasui and Electrode here. Yeah, you don't want to bring in the Sloking. It's going to be weak to lick. Um, this is going to be Body Slam. We do see a shield. We'll probably see a shield in an over farm and then an energy ball uh, into the Lickitung. No, they're actually going for Wild Charge. Okay, so they're going for Wild Charge instead. This will debuff them, but it takes less energy to get to. Uh, so that's fine. So let's see what decides to come in. Um, it is going to be Talonflame. Okay, they have to shield this Wild Charge. We know they have to. You got to bail after this because this Electrode is so debuffed. So we're going to see the Slow, slow King come in. Um, they're going to throw an attack. I, I, you know what? I don't know. It's probably a Flame Charge. No, it's a Brave Bird. That is a good, good shield. Oh, Lomomola in the back. Oh, man. It would have been... Amazing to have the Voltorb on this, but the Voltorb, what is that? What is the Voltorb needs to get to a wild charge against? Okay, going to. Okay, I think I see what they're doing. I think they're deliberately letting go of this slow king. I think they deliberately let let go of that slow king. I think that that's what they did, so they could get to two wild charges because they wouldn't. I don't think they would have been able to get to one wild charge against the talent flame. So they needed to let that slow king go so they can get to a wild charge and now get to another wild charge against the talent flame. What a great play! What a great showcase by this battler. Very well done, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.